In this video, we'll see how to record a first test in HP UFT. So this version which I'm using is the latest version, 12.53 version and the operating system which on which I'm working is Windows 8.1 64-bit. So now if I want to record the application for the first time, okay, let us see what are the steps now. The very first thing is I'll just double click on the icon of UFT and I'll start the application. So when I start the application, okay, it will give me a dialog box that's a license warning. Do you want to install a license or do you want to continue without license or do you want to cancel it? So I'll say I want to continue without the license. Okay. So once I click on that continue part, okay, before starting UFT, it gives me a dialog box. The name of the dialog box is add in manager. Now what does add in manager says is UFT can record different applications on different platforms. And these are the different platforms. The platforms are .NET, ActiveX, Java, Oracle and many more. Okay, so whichever application you are going to test, select that add in itself. For example, if you want to test Gmail, Yahoo, Facebook or any URL, any website, select this web, web add in and remove the other one. Okay, and suppose if you are trying to test for Java application, you remove this web and you can select this Java. Okay, so the reasons are why, why I need to select only one, why not select everything? Because while recording, this different platforms have different objects and they will start recording different objects properties. So better it is, it will reduce your performance of UFT. So better is you select only those whichever you want. Right now in this example, I'll just use this WPF. Okay, WPF is nothing but Windows Presentation Foundation. That's a new framework developed by .NET Framework. Now, this framework will not come directly, right? WPF add-in. You have to follow some steps, which we have created a separate video. To bring this add-in manager, this place, WPF, there are some few more steps we have, which you have to install few things that you can see the video itself. Next is, apart from that, okay, this WPF, Visual Basics and ActiveX, these three will belong to Windows category, Windows application category. This WPF is the recent one which is added in this place. If you see that my flight sample application that is based on WPF. So that is the reason I'm selecting it here right now. I will select one more that is Java. Okay. So ActiveX, the Visual Basic, WPF, this three will become Windows application. I've selected one Java and web application. Okay. So let's see what happens. I'll just click on OK. Now once I click on OK, I'll get this HP UFT screen which will show as a startup page. So let us see that. Startup page. So you can see there is a startup page. It, it will give you some few functionalities for new and open. If you want to create a new test or if you want to open a new test. If you want to jump from one place to another, you can see the screen. That's a new screen which is added and there are many pages which are given here. It will try to help you what are the new features added in HP UFT 12.53. Now, let us start. If I want to record a test for the first time, I should have a test. How do I create a new test? So for creating a new test, you can go to this file new and you can click on this test button sec this is one method second method is you can just click on i'll just press escape from a keyboard and i can just click on this new okay so still it will give me this place itself now what do you want to create it gives me four options that is do you want to create a gui api business process test or business process flow right now in this example i'll take gui graphical user interface test Okay, now I'll take that same sample application. What I'll do is I'll just tell you an idea. I'll put username, password, OK button and close the application. So indirectly, I want to test only login thing. Okay, so what I'll do is I will give some meaningful name to my test. So I'll remove this GUI test, delete that and I'll give the name as login. So login test will be placed under this location. The location is this one. If you want to change the location, you just click on this browse button and you can create folder, put that into that test. Next is, what is the name of the solution? Now, what exactly is solution? Solution is a place where you can put all the tests, multiple tests into one solution. So right now I'll give one solution name as, I'll give as my flight. Okay, I'll give as my flight to itself and I'll click on create. So once I click on create, if you see in the solution explorer, in the solution explorer, I'll be getting that option. Okay, it is creating right now, creating login. That's the name of the test. Yeah, so if you see here, that's a uh, solution my flight to under that my flight to if you see there's a button given here, uh, that's an expand button which says as 
under login i have something as action one now what is action we'll see in detail about that but just a rough idea action is a place where you can put all the steps all the object properties checkpoints and so on in detail we can see that now if you just click on that action this action page will open by default it is getting open i jumped from starter page to action one directly when i created a new test now let us see how do we record it is created now a new test now we'll be recording a sample application if you're recording for the first time okay how do you record there are three methods to record the application first method is record button on the toolbar select the record button if i click on this record button it gives me this settings dialog box let's see the i'll just close it i don't want second method to start the recording is go to the record menu bar and click on this record button okay the first option which is given and the third method is you can use f6 from a keyboard the shortcut key you press f6 and it will start so if you click on this you'll get the same dialog box okay so these three methods are used if i click on this record button i've got this record and run settings and i have got this three tabs remember why i've got this three tabs java web and windows application when i started uft for the first time i have selected the add-ins from that add-in manager i have selected java i have selected web so i've got different tabs i have selected three more things wpf activex visual basics so that three things will come under this windows application okay so combining that it has come into windows application if i've selected oracle from there i would have got oracle dot net and so on so when you record the application for the first time you have to do some settings what are those settings so let us see that in this windows application i have two radio buttons one says record and run on any open windows application okay on any open windows based application what are the different windows based application if i am not sure which application i want to record let's say i'll select this first option i want to record uh, excel word powerpoint notepad calculator anything so i'll select the first option second option says you are specific about your requirement which application you want to record if you want to record calculator you select the second option record and run only on application specified below that means in this box right now there is nothing in this box if you want to add some application okay so just click on this plus button if you remember now i'll be recording the sample flight my application itself my flight sample application i'll just click on this plus sign when i click on this plus sign it gives me application details what are the details what is the application so you have to put the path of this application that is flights gui.exe now you might be wondering by default how it is given sample application comes default with hp uft so i have given the example the uh, the file application and also they have given the working folder under which folder my application resides okay at any point of time if you think you want to change the application let's say calculator excel notepad word click on this browse that application executable file and you can use it right now i'll keep it simple selected that file click on okay now uh, when i click on okay button what will happen is this settings will be used during record and run time settings this windows will open this uh, flight gui application itself now let us see that so i'll just do a revision here i'll just i have clicked on this record button windows application selected record and only added the application and i'll click on okay okay so once i click on okay it will open this sample application hp my flight sample application how did it open the application because record and run settings was the part now now from here it is very simple so what i'll do is i'll just put the username that's a given here as username password okay button that's it and finally i'll just close the application that will complete my recording now when i start recording i have got this recording toolbar and there are few more options which are given which we'll see in detail what exactly it says now login is the name of the application which is given the test login is the name of the test and if you see that's a path of the test which is stored okay that's a given here now what i want is i want to record the application so i'll just go back to my place yeah and i'll just bring it down now if you observe i'll just put here the username as john and see there will be a script generated here okay so if i put here as keep my cursor and if i put here john okay once i put here john and if i click on this second cell second text here when i start recording okay this john which was there it started recording and the sample script is generated here if you see here i'll just move this dialog box here yeah. 
if you see here that's a flight application okay and on that agent name i have set as john now what is the meaning of this entire script we'll see a separate video for that but what i'm trying to say is this is automatically scripts are generated when you're recording whatever user actions you're performing on the application that gets recorded in the form of script this script is vv script that's a visual basic script it's a language given so based on the software which you're using the language keeps on changing right now it is vb script which supports after that i'll put here the password as hp okay and i'll click on this ok button so once i click on ok button if you see again it have generated one script that is for password and i've done on ok button i've clicked it okay i'm trying to do something and after that what i'll do is i'll just close the application i don't want to go further i'll just close the application and i'll just click on this close yeah so once i click on close if you see there's one more action which is given here that is dot close on this particular application the meaning i'll show in the next video what exactly the script says after this is done you can just see that it says the recording login i'll just move it recording login it's still recording login and it says the number of actions which are given here as seven okay seven steps are recorded if you see here so whatever the number of uh, steps you are recorded that will be given here finally when you are done you have to just click on this stop button and the recording will stop okay your window which was uft window will come back to the normal position itself that will be solution explorer this will be the scripts given here and that's the active screen okay so active screen will be shown here at the bottom i'll expand it okay so if i keep on clicking any place the screen snapshots are captured and they have been stored into the active screen that's very very useful so right now that's enough for this example in the later videos we'll see what exactly the script and different things so i hope you're able to understand if you want to record the application for the first time what are the different steps you have to keep on crossing i hope you have understood and that's all for this video